So a level 14 modder now does as much crown tower damage as a level 1 modder used to do on release. Yo, what's going on, guys? You saw the intro. That begs the question, is B-Raz deck still viable or completely dead? Especially after the modern nerf. I don't know if this deck is still playable. We'll have to find out today. This man here might have Lava Hound, pretty much the only deck that runs Skeleton Dragons. Yeah, it has to be Lava Loon. Pretty happy, actually. This is probably like the one decent matchup for this deck, since we do have the Inferno Tower. And Miner does like no damage anymore, with this deck at least. All of the modern Miner Cycle decks, you at least need to have one other win condition, like a set of Wall Breakers or a Mortar. This deck is like a tickle deck, you just tickle the tower until it goes away. He has to play something here on the Valkyrie, at least an Inferno Dragon or Barbs or something. Okay, I'll take it. We can just go with the Inferno Tower in the middle, should kill the Inferno Dragon and then the Lava Hound too. Easy poison. I mean this deck has pretty minimal offense, but the defense is pretty solid. We should be fine here. We do have E-Wiz too if he tries to go in for a balloon. We do have to be kind of careful though because he can always try to play his minor onto our E-Wiz and so then just like arrows it or something. But we're looking pretty good for now. Single elixir is pretty good for us. I'll just cycle a minor. You have to like spam the miners early on. That's like your only chance to get chip damage. If they have good minor counters, you have like a pretty low chance to actually get damage. I feel like this is more of a poison cycle deck. So this video should be titled, Is Poison Cycle Still Viable? I'm serious though. It sounds like a joke, but I'm actually serious. I feel like this guy has no way to break through with the Lava Hound, but it might just be a minor chip damage mirror matchup. I mean, he doesn't even need to play his Lava Hound. He can just try to play it as like a balloon cycle deck, so this could be close still. He is giving us free poisons though, which I'll take. We can Ewe's up high, he has nothing to counter it. Should still be no damage with the balloon. Just death damage, doesn't really matter too much. I'll cycle the Monor in the back. The one nice thing is that he has like no good Monor catch. Only Barbarians, but that's pretty expensive. So nice to have the Ewe's against the Inferno Dragon. I don't know why, but I feel like this deck is strangely good right now. Like, Ewiz and Inferno Tower are so broken against all of the Monk spam decks going around. There's a lot of people running Monk right now, and those are like the two counters. Okay, why would you Lava Hound the bridge for no reason, with nothing to support it? Magnificently humongous brain. <laughs> okay, we can just go with the poison. We need like, like one more poison and a few minor hits now. Hopefully we don't choke. No, I think we're all good. Unlike B-Rad, we're not going to choke today. <laughs> well, I don't even know actually. I feel like B-Rad sometimes chokes, but sometimes he pulls out really clutch wins. Yeah, we got him. Freest win of my life. You always have to be him a little bit like B-Rad would. Good game. We got a match. Man, Ice Spirit is like the one card in this deck that got a buff instead of a nerf anytime recently. I'll poison this Goblin Cage. It's not too bad of a trade. It does do some damage to the Goblin Brawler as well. Might be a Royal Recruits deck. Not sure how this matchup will be. Wait. Wait, what is he running? He must have something super crazy. I'll go for the Monor in the safe spot. It's better to play it in the safe spot with this deck since Monor is like your only win condition. You have to be a bit more careful about the King Tower. Wait, is he running E Golem? Oh, please no. Please no. Not mere E Golem. I'll go for the Inferno Tower. Man, I don't know if this deck is built to stop E Golem. Oh no. I'll just log, try to get our Elixir back. Okay, tower is on the E-drag. Okay, I'll just go for the Monor. This might be kind of hard. The Battle Healer kind of just outdoes the Poison and the Valkyrie. Inferno Tower kind of sucks against e Golem too. I'll play the e -Wiz down though. I mean, Inferno Tower is such a lifesaver in some matchups, but then it's just a killer in other matchups. And I mean killer in a bad way, to where it kind of messes you up. And if he goes for like 
Man, if he goes for a mirror eagle, I don't know what to say. Just please don't do this, man. Okay, we can just poison. I just want to not feed the battle healer. That's all we have to do. Really bad zap. Okay, as long as the E-Drag dies, we're pretty much going to be fine. Really good Valkyrie. I'm not sure if we can always defend too well, though. Even if he just gets a bit of chip damage, it could still be kind of bad for us, since we can barely get any damage ourselves. Look at the monitor, it's pretty much healing the tower. <laughs> oh no. Man, all he has to do is play a mirror e golem. I don't know why he isn't. I think we're probably fine here. I don't want to speak too soon. Okay, I'll just e-wiz kill everything. Yeah, we're fine. <laughs> well, I guess I I overrated an eagle on player's level of smartness. <laughs> no offense, no offense. I'm sorry if I'm toxic today, guys. I just have to respect the traditions of B-Rad. Okay, we have to be a bit careful of this E-Drag lining up on everything. I'm just gonna poison, it might get some damage. Okay, I'll just e -wiz again. Dude, all this guy has to do is go for a mere E-Golem. I don't know why he keeps on wasting his mirror on random stuff. Okay, finally this miner should do some good chip damage. And it's about to be triple elixir though. He's gonna spam like 1,000 e golems in one second. <laughs> okay, we just have to still be careful of the battle healer to not feed it. I think we're fine at this point though. You guys can see the most important thing is to not feed the battle healer. Basically that means you don't want to play any ground units into it or as little as possible. And even the Eagle on mini Bloblitz do like more damage than a Miner by quite a bit. I'll poison. We have to try to cycle multiple poisons right now, otherwise we're not going to defend. For some reason this deck feels like it has an even quicker cycle than the decks with champions having the three card cycle, even though we have no champion. I don't know why, it just feels so quick, I don't know. Okay. Let's try to get like triple electro mage. <laughs> I mean the mage of electricity, of the electricity variety. Oh no, it died. Okay, it's fine though. I don't even think we have to inferno tower unless he plays another another e golem. And this is clean. <laughs> Just cleaning up a filthy e golem player. Let's go. Poison. Should take it, I think. Alright. Extremely easy win. With the way I'm playing this deck, I wouldn't be surprised if Super Sun nerfed it again. You have to have a bit of confidence in yourself while you play this deck, otherwise you're gonna fail miserably. Is this man playing Double Hut? Poison is gonna be pretty broken against any Double Hut deck you guys might face. I feel like everyone's running double hut and green challenges now. I think it's because Sir Tag made a video on a double hut deck. I mean, I have to say thank you to him because I play Earthquake usually. Wait, it actually might be Royal Recruits. Okay, this could be a bit harder then. We do have some decent counters to Recruits with like the Valkyrie and stuff, but the Inferno Tower does kind of mess us up a little bit. It does fully counter Royal Hogs, but once they start spamming the Recruits too, it does make it a bit difficult. I mean, I feel like almost every matchup is difficult. Yeah, it is Recruits. Almost every matchup is a bit difficult, but if you play well enough, you can still beat them, usually. We can log them away. They should be pretty much dead at this point. Not the best Zappies. Easy Valkyrie. I might just like Ewiz and Ice Spirit if he wants to go in for Royal Hogs. We could also just go with the Inferno Tower. Uh, I don't really want to poison the Furnace this time. I'll just go with the Monor instead. We kind of have to save the poison for either his Royal Recruits themselves or for like any of his other spam stuff, like the Flying Machine. It is kind of hard for us to kill the Flying Machine. We do have Ewis, but it feels a lot slower than like a Musketeer. 
I'll just Ewis in the back now. Kind of good timing to have Ewis in this deck. In a meta filled with Mighty Modern and stuff like that. Okay. I'll just poison the recruits. It's a pretty good trade. You pretty much fully counter them for... Like only a negative 0.5 elixir trade technically. Because 3 recruits are technically worth 3.5 elixir. You get the free tower damage though. I'll just Inferno Tower here. We should be okay. Just need the flying machine to cross. The miner is actually tickling the tower pretty heavily this time. I think this man's tower is extra ticklish. <laughs> okay, I'll poison this time. We do have a pretty quick cycle, so I think now is our time to start spamming like 10 poisons every 5 seconds. Just the way that B Rad would want us to. Just a bit hard to stop the flying machine though. I mean, I keep saying it, but yeah, I get pretty annoyed at flying machines. Poison isn't really too good against it, it takes way too long. Okay, I have to poison this. Oh, imagine if that hit the flying machine, that would have been the best poison ever. Just gonna log everything back, might take a bit of damage. Oh no. Man, he just did as much damage as we got from like 10 miners with just one royal hogs. That's broken. <laughs> Maybe this deck is bad. I'll just poison. Oh no. He was. We have to ignore the right side. Man. We, oh, I don't know what we're gonna do. I'll just poison. Just take care of the entire right side. Really bad, Mother Witch. I don't know how this guy's even winning. He's not even playing too well. I'll just monitor plus poison. We have to at this point. He might go in for Royal Hogs. <laughs> not, I didn't expect over there. <laughs> what a huge brain. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, man. To this guy. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. And see you in the next one. Bye.